The evolution of your marketing will be the catalyst for the evolution of your business. And the evolution of your business will provide you with the freedom to focus on the evolution of your life. This is Evolved Marketing with Andre and Brian. All right, welcome back to another episode of the Evolved Marketing Podcast. My name is Brian Brewer, along with my co-host today, as always, Andre Germachev. And today we are fresh from Funnel Hacking Live 2023, the ClickFunnels event. That's um, last week at the time we're recording this. By the time you're listening to this episode, it's actually two weeks ago. But today we decided we are going to talk about and dive into so we can teach the most buzzed about talked about portion of the event if i look on facebook right now and and look at all the people who are at the event they're all talking about one thing so andre what what's everybody talking about what's the framework that it is is buzzing right now so i remember last year um russell was kind of mentioning it about it you know but he didn't go into like so much detail like how he did at this funnel hacking life and the whole framework or the method that he called is called the linchpin. Now, the linchpin, this is super interesting. Right. It's super interesting because we kind of do a little bit of the linchpin, maybe like 75% of it. But, you know, there's always room for improvements. And the way <clears throat> the way he broke it down um, with all the speakers, like he, he set it up amazing where each speaker... Um, talked about a topic about the linchpin in their own experiences. So the way I don't know, the way he made it all combined together was amazing, and it was so easy to understand. So today, guys, we have an amazing episode. We're gonna go over the linchpin, and yeah, uh, hope you guys get so much value out of this the same way that we we go value. Yeah, it was really cool because here you have kind of the the head expert, if you will, in, the, in Russell Brunson, you know, he's built this community and this following around his ClickFunnels software. And he's an amazing marketer. You know, he's a student of the game. Um, he just loves all things marketing. And he has a really good way of explaining it because he goes into it and gets a deep understanding of it. He doesn't learn something and then just say, oh, that makes sense. And then go around and teach it. If he sees something that's interesting, that's new, he dives into it. So he makes sure he understands every nuance of it. And that in turn helps him become a great teacher. But as you mentioned, he did bring him a speaker in to really highlight and dive deep into each section. And that was really cool because you have the master who's got this whole framework that he kind of, I don't want to say he invented it, but he really simplified it into, into diagrams and images and pieces. And he's proven it time and time again. Um, so that's amazing. But then when you can go deep into each one, it's even more amazing. And you're right. There's nine different components, if you will. Some of them are a little more in depth. Some of them are just kind of, the transfer over to the next step. But there was nine different components of the linchpin framework, uh, which he calls the the two comma club foundation or how to, how to win the two comma club award. Or, you know, I think he wants to scale his business, his new business to a hundred million dollars. So obviously this framework works, but I was missing a couple of them. And that's what was cool about funnel hacking live is I got in there and I got to really understand which two pieces I was missing. So hopefully that's going to be the catalyst. So where do you want to start Andre, as we dive into this? I think we should start from, you know, the Two Comma Club Foundation, right? Um, me and you, we won our Two Comma Club Award this year. We walked on stage. We we had a picture with Russell. Maybe we can pull it up on, if you're watching this on YouTube, maybe we'll pull it up. Um, but yeah, it was a great time, right? It was a great accomplishment for us. And just how we say, you know, it's like we almost do the linchpin already. You get me? But it's awesome the way he broke it down. But yeah, we should start from the beginning. I mean, oh, there you go. There's the picture. There we go. Yep, there it is. YouTube, I mean, we're showing the picture. Yep. Yeah, check it out on YouTube. So there's Andre up there holding his two comma club awards, standing with the co-founders of ClickFunnels, Russell Brunson and Todd Dickerson. Uh, if you don't know, Russell Brunson is kind of the marketing man. He's the attractive character, if he will, which we'll talk about. Uh, today when we talk about the the uh, attractive character flywheel and how that works with the linchpin and then todd dickerson who's on the right if you're watching on youtube he's got that cool little click funnels watch and click funnels belt hanging out there uh he's the behind the scenes guy he he runs the coding team and is responsible for a lot of the functionality uh that went into click funnels classic and then of course 2.0 but really really cool man really really cool yeah um russell like how he said he's like the marketing guy and then todd is like the behind the scenes you know the computer the tech guy i guess you can say you know and the way you the way they work i mean it's amazing 
Um, he shared a st- he shared a story actually when um when they first started working together and and Todd started working for Russell for free because at the time Russell could not afford Todd. And then once they started building their business, Todd didn't want to didn't want to just be an employee. So then he told Russell, "Hey, let's be partners." And then Russell said yes, and that that was the best decision that could have happened for their their business and their life. Yeah, absolutely. It was it was they they complemented each other so well, and they've built they've built a really amazing business. So before we dive into it too much, you know, we got to show the obligatory proof. So I'll just toss mine up there as well. Uh, what's really cool about this, though, the reason I wanted to share this is because that's me on stage, uh, you know, of course, with getting the two comic club award, just like Andre won his this year as well. But I am actually working on my second one, and I'm probably about two thirds of the way to my second one. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that to hammer home the point that I had about seven out of the nine pieces of the linchpin framework that we're going to talk about today in place to get about two thirds of the way to my second one with my own program. But now that I have the full linchpin framework, I really plan on uh, hopefully ramping that up and, and and achieving that second one really soon. So, yeah, let's dive into it. So we got to talk about that. We got the foundation of, of, of the two comma club that this framework, this is basically um, how you actually get money from people. What stages do you ask for? What what do you give them and how does this whole thing work? So I'm going to go ahead and bring this uh, a picture of this up on screen, Andre, and we can kind of just walk through this. So once again, if you're listening on one of the podcast platforms, this is probably a great one to come check us out over on YouTube. Just search Evolved Marketing Podcast on YouTube and you'll find this. Once again, this is going to be episode 50. So even if you're watching, you're listening to this a year from now, it's it's episode 50 that you, you want to search for. Let me go ahead and find this. Let me go ahead and bring this up so we can have this on screen and then we'll go ahead and jump right into it. So there it is, Andre. There's the linchpin and the attractive character flywheel and i'll just kind of point this out before i i let you uh, take us into this here but this over here on the right hand side where you see these boxes and these these red circles this is the linchpin framework right this is how you set up your business well uh section number three here number three or the beginning basically is the attractive character flywheel. And that's kind of a separate thing, but that basically comes down to how you handle how you handle your traffic. That's diagrammed here over on the left-hand side. Once again, we'll get into all this, but we just want to make sure everybody understands our little diagram uh, before we do. And just so you know, Andre, this was intentional. I made sure to get the two comma club award behind it. So we <laughs> understand what everybody's looking at here. This is the framework to get one of these blurry little, Plex behind it. So where are we starting? Where are we exactly. starting, Andre? All right. So let's start from the beginning, right? Um, hmm. In the beginning, you need some type of program. Okay. So you need either a membership site or you need some type of continuity uh, program where you can have people go through your knowledge, basically, um, for them to learn from you. So if you see right there, uh, the number one spot, there's three levels. So right now we'll just uh, stick around with the first level, okay? So once you have your program ready, you know, um, people are paying you monthly. So continuity, what does that mean? You, that means that people are giving you basically like a monthly um, service fee. They're paying you every month and every month. Um, and why is that important? Because when you get to, when you, it could get to the point where somebody might buy your business uh, and, and you basically, you could exit your business right away. And the people that offer you um, money for it, they want to see if you have recurring monthly revenue for your business. And that's really important because if you don't have that, you probably won't be able to basically exit your business. I'm not saying that that's your goal from the beginning, but it's a great way for you to have, you know, passive income in the long run. So that's one of the main things that I I got out of this um, for like the membership area, the continuity type of program. Yeah, absolutely. And continuity is something that I added to my business about eight to 12 months ago. I'd have to look back at the numbers to see exactly when I did this. Um, and, and, and a disclaimer, I've always had a little bit of continuity in my business because I've been an affiliate for software since uh, 2016. And I've been an affiliate for ClickFunnels and System.io since 2018. I started with ClickFunnels and I added System.io uh, recently. But that's monthly recurring revenue for my business, right? It's not my product, but I'm referring people to this software 
I get, you know, 40 or 50% commission, depending on which software you're talking about, as long as that person stays active. So that is monthly recurring revenue uh, for my business. Now, I've added my own monthly recurring revenue in the form of a program, right? It's basically a, a course plus coaching program that I charge monthly for. And then you mentioned it here. There's three levels of continuity, and this is going to be the, the the meat and potatoes of your business. And the way they broke it down is you have level one, level two, level three, and hopefully you can see this. Andre, can you see this blue box on yep. your screen? Okay, so hopefully everybody who's yes, watching sir. this on YouTube can see this blue box so you know exactly what, what stage of the, the linchpin we're talking about. But level one continuity you know, that's, that's your low ticket continuity. That might be as low as $5 a month. That could be something like a newsletter uh, that people join or some sort of premium email list, or, you, you know, it could be any number of things, but those are just the first two things that jumped to my mind, you know, five to a hundred dollars a month, right? That's your level one continent continuity. That's the low ticket stuff. Really. You're looking at volume there. How many people can we get into this? So I think a, a premium newsletter is a perfect example. That's something you can charge five or 10 bucks a month for. I know we've talked about it past or or before on a past episode of the Evolved Marketing Podcast, but this is something that Anthony Morrison does. Um, Anthony Morrison's probably done $100 million online, if not very close. He's definitely north of $50 million online. He gave a speech where he talked about his webinars that sell $1,000 and $2,000 products. Well, at the very end, he says, I don't want you to leave empty handed. You know, of course, this is after all the Q&A. And he's basically sitting there with a list of people on a webinar who've been on a webinar for two hours but haven't bought yet. So obviously they're interested, but they're not buying. If they sit on a webinar and haven't bought the thousand dollar project yet, they're, they just don't have the money, but he says, I want to give you something anyways. And that's when he offers them his newsletter subscription. I think it's nine bucks a month. I don't, don't quote me on that, but the, basically the way he said in that is I can't give you a specific numbers because I signed a contract to speak at funnel hiking live, but it's big. And so that's, that's exactly what it is. It's it's high volume, right? Yeah. That's what he said. He said that, that, um, downgrade offer, I guess you can call it, has made him way more money than selling the high ticket or something like that, you know? And it's just crazy how it works like that way. Yeah, absolutely. So that's your level one continuity. Your level two continuity is just the next price point. And in the example he gave is something that's 100 to $1,000 a month. Um, the first thing that jumps out in my mind that might be a good level two continuity program is uh, like a, a group coaching, right? Something that you can fulfill at scale. <clears throat> Uh, for example, uh, you know, I'm right at $149 a month for my group coaching. Um, you know, that, that, that I'll talk more about a little, a down sell option that I have, which falls into level one continuity, but yeah, I mean that, that right there, anywhere that one net 149, 297 a month, $500 a month, basically anything that, that falls in that 1000 to one or 100 or $1,000 range will be your level two continuity. And then your level three continuity really depends on your business, but that, that's your high ticket, uh, continuity, that's probably a thousand dollars to twenty five thousand dollars or at least five thousand dollars a month. Yeah. And those are things probably like uh, a mastermind or or one on one calls or something along those lines. Uh, but y- yeah. you know if you're if you're following the linchpin framework, you need all three uh, to to complete uh, the whole the whole package here, right? and it's it's for the most part, it's the same um it's it's basically the same offer or sorry, multiple offers, but with the same outcome. You get me? It's just different experiences. You're selling different ways of learning. But at the same time, you, it's almost the same thing, right? You're teaching the same thing. The information is almost the same. You're just selling the experience. And I think the that's the same what information packaged in a new way. That's exactly right. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, let's move forward to the next one. So, once you have your subscription based program, your membership site, or your continuity program, then you go, if you want to go to the level one, then you go. To, through the MIFG, okay? And what is the MIFG? It stands for the most incredible free gift ever, okay? In other words, in our affiliate marketing world, it's basically like a lead magnet. But you don't want to make it seem like it's just like, oh, you know, just get this free ebook or nothing. I can show you guys right here. The ClickFunnels sends this out to everybody that signs up or I believe it's the one, the one funnel away challenge. And then you get, this for free you just have to pay the shipping and handling but this is a way of them to have the most incredible free gift ever which is the MIFG and what what happens when somebody gets the the MIFG basically you're getting something for free right and what does Russell want in return 
they want you, of course, to get your membership to ClickFunnels, you know? So that's one way of them to offer something for free. And then basically he's just turning it around and making money out of it in the long run. Yeah, because his goal is to give a big, amazing bonus, if you will, or free gift for signing up for ClickFunnels. Well, at that point, you're into the monthly recurring revenue or the continuity program, which is ClickFunnels itself in his case. Is that Mifki have stuff in it or is that Mifki empty now? Yeah, it actually came with, um, I'm just going to open it, okay? There we go. Let me let me <laughs> pin your video you guys, here so but... everybody can see. That way people can get an idea of what sort of things uh, might go into Mifki. And then I'll turn around and actually share a different Mifki after you're done with this. And it's going to be a little bit different, but 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 go ahead, Andre. Let's see what's in there. So, so the first thing that I noticed when you open the box is, I'm going to show you on the screen right now, is the two comma club award. You know, and I love how they do that. I love how they do that because you need to visualize your goals, right? So if if I wake up every morning and I look at this box and I look at what well, this 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 can be possible, you know, it's almost like the law of attraction. You know, you keep thinking about something, you keep thinking about something, you keep doing it. For the most part, you it might happen, you know, because you have that that mentality. So I love how they put the two comma club award in in the in in front of it, right in the box. Now the first thing that I see is a book, you know, everything about the three day, um, sorry, it's like a three day challenge that Russell Branson does. And he basically teaches you everything about funnels, right? Everything about funnels, Ooh, you can see it, but yeah, everything about funnels. And then he has a different book that is called the Funnel Hackers Cookbook, right? And then he, right here, he goes into way more debt, uh, sorry, more in debt with freaking uh, funnels and everything else. And as you can see right here, it says, you're just one funnel away. You know, it, that, and then it doesn't, I know Russell gives the, the disclaimer, right? Russell, you're a scammer. You know, you told me I'm just one funnel away from being rich, but that's not true. You know, you have to keep building funnels and funnels. And then eventually one of those funnels is going to blow up and then it's going to make you money. Um, yeah, he, thing that he always box, says, he always ahead. says, I never said it was going to be your first funnel. You know, that's his big disclaimer. <laughs> He's like, you're, but you are, you are one funnel away, just like your one viral video away, just like your, right. you know, one promotion away. It's, it's, no one ever said it would be your first one, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then the last thing that is in this box that is not in the box right now was a t shirt, you know, a t shirt about click funnels. And um, I believe it was, the, I don't remember which which t-shirt it was. I have a, I have many of those right now. So, but yeah, it came with a with a shirt, you know, where you can just wrap it and then just be proud of what you do. You know, that's the main thing. You have to be proud of what you do. But yeah, I think this this is a cool myth myth, tea, right, Brian? Yeah, absolutely. And when and like you were saying, you open the box and there's a picture of the two comma club award, right? That's the goal. And he's still just going to teach you about, about funnels, but. That's what ClickFunnels is, you know, so it's just in the same information packaged differently, just like you're going to see in some of his coaching and stuff like it's all the same stuff, but it's just packaged differently. But the point of that visualization is something that he mentioned at Funnel Hacking Live as well, which is where you have to train the subconscious mind to go after the goal. You got to train the subconscious mind to focus on a goal and that will help influence the conscious mind to take action because I, I'm sure I have the notes somewhere and, and I... And maybe I can pull them up if they're in one spot. I can give you the exact numbers. Um, but the the subconscious mind is incredibly powerful. And let's see, I probably don't have them, but it's something like the subconscious mind has the ability to to process eleven thousand bits of information every second, where the conscious mind has the ability to process a hundred bits of information every second or something like that. There was a, a big discrepancy. I can't find my notes, so you can't quote me on those exact numbers. But the bottom line is if you get your subconscious mind to focus on a goal, something like the two comma club by visualizing it, and that's what people are talking about when they say visualize it, then it's going to be working nonstop to try to figure it out. And that's the beauty of it. Your subconscious will be working when you're driving down the road, when you're reading a book, when you're watching a baseball game, maybe even when you're sleeping and it'll be trying to figure out how to reach that goal as long as your goal is clear. And then once it has something that it, it hooks onto, I guess, then it can kick it down to your conscious mind. And it's kind of a mindset hack and you may believe that or you may not, but I, I think that's really what visualization is all about. So let me go ahead and pull up that uh, framework again that we're looking at the Mifki framework 
And right. Number two is the most Im- Im- incredible free gift ever. Right. And, and to get that free gift, just to be clear, you have to sign up for a free trial of ClickFunnels. So you get this for free, but now you're into the, into the continuity. Here's the other thing though. There, the, I don't think he said it this year, but he said it last year. The Mifki doesn't even have to be free. And I'm not saying everybody should do this, but I'm just saying that, that is an important point to consider. So for example, When I sell my program, I give away a free course, which we'll get into in step number five when we start talking about dramatic demonstrations or challenges and webinars. I give away a free course, but as soon as they jump into the free course, I offer them done-for-you funnels for nine bucks. Okay, nine bucks, as we know, is, is not free, but it still can be the most incredible free gift ever which then can force people or, or or drive people into my continuity program, which we'll talk about a little bit later, because now they're invested. So the free MIFKI is, is obviously the gold standard to get people into it immediately. Um, but, but a MIFKI itself doesn't necessarily have to be free. Interesting. So in a way, with your program, the MIFKI is the free course, right? Yeah, so the the free course is the dramatic demonstration, which we'll talk about in section mm-hmm. five. But the Mifki itself is could be one of two things. It's almost like I, I'm really screwing this up, and I have two Mifki. So, for example, I have the funnels and, and the and the the training, which you can get for extremely low investment, which get people to then jump into my world of training a little bit deeper, which will then get them further in. But the other Mifki that that you could consider a Mifki, which which I don't really know yet. And once again, we're still trying to piece this all together and, and, and hammer down the details after this amazing presentation that we saw last week. But it could be my free coaching as well, right? So I mm. offer group coaching to anyone who joins my course whether they pay a, a one-time high ticket payment or they pay a, a monthly recurring revenue fee. So that could be my MIFKI. If you want the coaching, you got to buy the course, right? Because the coaching itself yeah. is easy to fulfill. It's group coaching twice a month, no big deal. So I don't know. That's an interesting question, but we'll, uh, mm-hmm. we'll figure that out as, as we hammer this down after, after using the, uh, the, the information that we got at Funnel Hiking Live, right? Yep. Right. So now after, you know, you have your continuity program, you have your subscription based program, and then the level one is the MIFKI. And then from there is the one of the most important factors in this whole thing, right? The attractive character flywheel. Uh, in other words, is traffic. Okay. How are you going to get traffic? How are you going to pull yourself out there? Right. And I know most of you guys um, that are listening there, you're already used to creating content or at least you're trying to create content on a daily basis. So the most the most important thing about, you know, the attractive character is that you have to put yourself out there, right? You, you have to put yourself out there. You have to create content. You have to just shake it off and do it because nobody's going to do it for you. And now there's different ways that you can actually accomplish this. Um, as you can see on the, the blue box that Brian just did, you can see that we have short form content, which we're used to doing it. We also have long form content and then we have the dream 100, which is basically, you know, your affiliate partners, your JV partners, influencer marketing. And yeah, so let's dive deep with, you know, short form content, you know, what are the platforms that you can utilize short form content? Right. Yeah. So we got the, we got the Instagram reels, you got the YouTube shorts, you got the Facebook reels and you got TikTok, of course, which really started it all. Uh, and that's something that I think is is by now pretty self-explanatory, although it was interesting. It was a big highlight of Funnel Hacking Live. It's something we've been doing since 2020, at least. It's something I've been teaching since 2021, uh, if not sooner. So like I've been in this short form content world for, for three going on almost three and a half to four years now. Uh, so it was interesting to me to see like how big this was at Funnel Hacking Live and how many people are not using it. Wasn't it crazy? Yeah, I mean, there was a guy that he had a business and he wasn't taking off he wasn't taking off until he put himself out there and then he started creating content and he says that since he started creating content his business has done amazing but you're you're 100 right you know like we are so used to this we are so used to you know short form content and just putting ourselves out there and most people 
they they're scared of it. You know, they're scared of it or they think it's not going to work. Most people don't want to be in social media. Um, a lot of businesses, they just go through the route of paid ads, which is another way of, you know, creating content at the same time. But they rather just basically invest the money for them to get a return. Right. Absolutely. And the thing is, is you'll see there, if you look down at the very bottom right hand side of the interactive character flywheel, paid ads is part of that. Um, mm -hmm. But I want to bring up my notes here and I want to talk about, I think his name is Eric Thayer. And he was definitely Eric Thane. Yeah. Eric Thane yes, excuse me. It was Eric mm -hmm. Thane. You're right. Thank you. Um, but everybody was really excited about his presentation when he was talking about short form content. Let me see if I can bring up his his framework that I gave and and I the problem here is I took notes in two different spots. I took notes in my little linchpin book, but I also took notes on my phone too. So give me one second while I pull this together. And... Yeah, and also he also gave us a book. Um, he created a book one hundred percent about um creating content, which I'm gonna definitely read. You know, and it's literally all about creating content. Um. What else did he say? Uh, the hooks that you can use for your content as well. So this guy actually, you know, I feel like I I, I already know everything that, that he was teaching just because we are in the short form content world. But most people were like, whoa, this guy knows what this, this guy is like. It was a different angle, I guess you can say, right? Yeah, so I'll pull up his, his content framework right now. So I have it right in front of me. Um, so, you know, it's just so funny, you know, people were blown away by this guy. We've been talking hook story offer um, in your short form content for years now. But the way he said is, is, is start off with your hook. And he said his number one like engagement hack is just to add you into the hook. And what I mean by that is you're speaking directly to the customer. So, for example, if you were in our industry, hey, do you want to quit your job or, hey, would you like a side hustle? So that was kind of his biggest takeaway or his biggest, you know, hack for hooks. Um, when he talks about story, he says, empathize with their voice or their pain point. Basically, speak as if you are them, um, you know, empathize with whatever struggles. If you're in our niche or industry, you might say something like, I remember not being able to, you know, it could be something as simple as I remember not being able to buy the, the good toilet paper because I didn't want to budget. So we had to use this crap one ply toilet paper back before I started my business, right? You just want to empathize with any pain or something that they might be thinking. Basically, you want to get inside the the conversation that's going inside of the head that's related to, to your solution. And then from there, he actually goes into three tips. Here are my three tips to whatever. So basically, you're providing that value. And then, of course, the offer. Uh, he was pretty adamant, though, that that there are um, flags or or words that you don't want to say because it will hamper your reach or throttle your reach or shadow ban you, perhaps. And, you know, he was saying things like link in my bio or, you know, stuff like that. What do you think about that? Is that something you still do? Is it something you you've removed from your from your delivery? You know, what's your opinion, Andre? Um, I still feel like it works, you know. Um, one of the things that I I have encountered when I create my content is that if I don't put anything on, like for example, a call to action, right on my video, and the video blows up, um, it's like a missed opportunity. You get me. So I feel like he I feel like he said, you know, that we have to have a call to action. Um, right right now, right here, I'm reading his his section, and he says, you know, it could be. Um, follow for more tips, right? It could be go to blah, 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 dot com to get blank. You get me? It could be comment down below and I'll send you blank, right? It could be DM me uh, whatever keyword and I'll show you how. So there's different ways that you can play around with that, you know, click the link on my bio because everybody knows there's a link in your bio, right? But if you're more strategic with your call to action as far as like engage with my video, so more people can see it. You get me? You're literally doing that instead of just, hey, go check my website. Right. Yeah. Get that engagement, which will hopefully uh, boost the algorithm. So that's important. And like you said, I've seen the same thing happen. If you if you get a video that goes viral and there's no call to action, it's like, what's the point? You know, now there is some yeah. value to it, because if you get a video that goes viral. You know, there there is. A point where. 
they are going to see your next few videos, right? Once they kind of follow you a little bit, or, or, or engage with one of your videos, they're more likely to see a future video. So there might be some value in getting that video to go viral and then following up with four or five strong videos that have strong call to actions that are marketing the heck out of your product. So that's something to consider. Uh, but let's move on because otherwise we're going to be on this episode for three hours, which which is fine by me, but <laughs> no one wants to listen to this for three hours. So then you have long form content, um, you know, podcasts, YouTube, uh, maybe longer posts on Facebook. Um, you, if you want to get into a blog, you know, I, I think, it was Perry Belcher who said blogging is all but dead. But if you want to do that, you know, invest the time and, and become an authority blog. That's an opportunity as well. The problem with blogs is you have to be like the top because, you know, they, they say, mm-hmm. you know, page two of Google search is where they had where they hit Jimmy Hoffa's body. You know, you got it. You got to rank high on blogs and that's just getting tougher <laughs> and tougher to do. Um, but let's talk about the Dream 100, because this might be something that a lot of people don't really know what Dream 100 is. And and if you can if you can't see it, it says influencer affiliate JV. And I'm not even sure what that last word is. That, does it say acquire? It says uh, acquire. Yeah. Okay. Acquire. So uh, Dream 100, right? Um, affiliate. You have affiliates. Why don't you talk about, about that? Yeah. So Dream 100 is basically partnering up with with another company that is doing as is doing most of the job for you, basically. And the, the main reason um, where when you partner with somebody else is, you know, you're, of course, you're making money right? With doing less of the work because the person that is already with the product, with the program, they already proved that it works, right? So I think that's the easiest way for you to get people into your email newsletter or your email list, right? So that's one of the ways because you're going to be making money while you're doing it. So, you know, people get excited when they start getting their first commissions, right? If if people are doing um, short-form content or long-form content and they don't have a plan to make money, you know, what's the point? You know, eventually they're going to just die off and they're never going to create content anymore again because they're going to say, oh, it doesn't work. But if you're an affiliate for like, or you, if you partner with somebody that, you know, it, it has a program that is proven to work, you know, people are getting results, most likely you will get the same results too. And then, you know, get money in your pockets, you know, right? Because that's the first thing we want to, we want to get a taste of that. You know, and it, because it feels great. It feels good in the beginning, especially when you're a beginner and you get money. You know, it feels amazing, but then you just have to keep going. And then the main goal for, you know, the short, long form and the Dream 100 is to get people to your email list. Right. Absolutely. And, and what you're going to see here is, you know, it, it really is the attractive character flywheel, which kind of, goes into a couple of different steps. And I think the number he numbers he has here are are for someone who who might be already in business. And I'll explain what that means in just a second. But before I do, I want to touch back on what you said. And really you you kind of combined affiliates and JV there. Like a JV is a joint venture. And that's for someone who has an existing business, maybe has an existing list where it's like, hey, who can I find in the industry that has a slightly different audience in the same niche? We partner up, you promote my stuff, I'll promote your stuff. We can get together, we can transfer um, lists essentially to each other based on who takes interest. Uh, and it, and when you when you take a list of these people and, and you put them down there, what you do is you to, to make out the Dream 100 list, what you do is you really look at who are the top 100 people that I'd like to get involved with. And that could be an influencer as well, someone who has influence in your space and you realize their audience would be a good fit for your product or your offer. Be like, hey, man, what can I do to get them on board? Maybe I offer them an affiliate commission. Maybe I work some sort of joint venture opportunity, or maybe I simply just pay them for a post, right? You can, you know, micro influencers, even if you don't have a huge budget, someone who has $50,000 on, on, or 50,000 followers on TikTok, that's a lot of followers. Their videos have potential to get a lot of reach, but you know, as it was talked about at Funnel Hacking Live, you might be able to get three posts for 600 bucks from them. So that's not a yeah. lot of money for a lot of reach. So just different ways to think about getting traffic. Also in the flywheel, obviously you have your email newsletter and your paid ads and that's stuff that comes a little bit further down the line uh, for some people. But I mean, everybody knows the importance of an email newsletter or an email list. And then obviously paid ads after everything is proven with organic is a great way to go. Um, and then it, Another point that was brought up is when you talked about this attractive character flywheel or when Russell, you can see two separate sets of arrows here. You can see the mm-hmm. bottom three arrows that go to the Mifki and the top three arrows that go to the dramatic demonstration challenger webinar. And one point that 
kind of gets lost is, is you don't want to introduce cold traffic to your MIFKI, right? Your cold traffic goes to your dramatic demonstration, your challenge, your webinar, your free course in my case, right? So if you're creating short form, long form content, like you want people to go to the dramatic demonstration because there's a good chance that they don't really know anything about you yet. But if they are already on your email list, that's when you can offer them the, the, the MIFKI. Right. And that, so basically you have to know who you're talking to and what platform. So if you're emailing your, your list or your retargeting ads or something like that, you can talk about this Mifki. Hey, here's the greatest time to join ClickFunnels because I'm giving you this free gift. You get the 30 days book, you get the cookbook, you get this cool t-shirt. It all comes in this beautiful box, right? That would be great for people who already know who you are. They might know you a little bit. They might like you a little bit. They might even trust you a little bit. Um, But if you, if they don't know you, if you're creating content then that, that traffic has to go to the dramatic demonstration first, the challenge, the webinar, the free course, but they can be offered the MIFKI after they register. But the, the, the point is know, know the awareness level or at least consider the awareness level of the traffic when you're when you're writing to them or creating content for them, I think is the point. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's 100% right. I mean, you create content, you know, you, you start driving traffic to your products. And now what do you need? You know, you need a dramatic demonstration. Right. So now we're going to talk a little bit about that. So what is a dramatic demonstration? You know, it could be, you know, a challenge. It could be a webinar. And then you're basically either you look at the webinar, you know, look at the the arrow that goes down. You know, there's you're sending people to your MIFG, right? You're sending people to your MIFG. Um, and what Brian would say is 100 percent right. You know, you don't want to send your MIFG to call traffic. You know, because then people are going to be like, okay, what is this? You know, yeah, it's free. People might do it, but then those people don't really know you. You know, those people don't really know what they can get out of it. But if you do like some type of challenge, you know, we, we had a dog bottom on the on an episode before, and he focuses on doing a challenge every single month, right? So his challenges last, I believe, a month or maybe like a week, but then he has, you know, like his coaching program that lasts uh, to the end of the month. But every single month, he creates or he does a new challenge and he gets new people every month. Um, another way that, that is really popular is doing webinars. You know, just how we talked about Anthony Morrison, you know, he focuses on making a webinar that is evergreen, right? Which basically is not live, but then he makes it seem like it's live. And then he makes a webinar and he can just distribute that webinar every single month to get people to either hit the MIFG or to get people to the level two offer, which is uh, the bulk community plus the offer, which um, I'm sure Brian can talk more about that. Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, if you don't know like how to create a webinar or you don't know how to create a challenge, resist the temptation to go out and just create one. Now that's not bad practice, but there are formulas and frameworks that need to be in place to take people on a journey, overcome, change beliefs, um, you know, offer opportunities or whatever. And and, and we're not going to talk about that because once again, we'll be on here for six hours. No one wants to listen to us for six hours. But this Expert Secrets book right here by Russell Brunson, you can just Google it, find it on Amazon, or you can go over to whatever, something, Google Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. You can get this free. All you have to do is pay shipping. We don't have an affiliate link, I don't think, anywhere. Um, but you'll get into his funnel, of course, but you'll you'll get this book. And, and this is really the first step of learning his perfect webinar framework or his perfect webinar script. And that perfect webinar script obviously can be used for webinars, but it can be used for challenges. I use a modified version of it for my free courses, which are, you know, to sell stuff, right? I don't just create free courses just to give away free information. I create it to sell stuff, but it can be also used for content as well. You can use the perfect webinar framework in a 60 second short form piece of content, and it's just going to make everything more effective at, at moving people along. But yeah, then you get into, you know, a bulk continuity plus an offer. And once again, the, 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 the bottom line here is you're trying to get people paying you money every month, right? That's the goal, no matter no matter what stage we're at, that that's the goal. So let me go ahead and pull up my notes and I'll give the exact uh, ex example that Russell gave. So at the end of your challenge, your webinar, your dramatic demonstration number one, which we just circled, you're going to have a bulk continuity plus offer. So what does that mean? Okay. So the, the example he gives is he might sell a course 
a $297 to $997 course at the end of his first dramatic demonstration challenger webinar, right? I think everybody's familiar with that framework. Come to my webinar, I'm going to sell you something at the end of it, right? We all we all know what that is, at least haven't we've been through them, we've maybe purchased through them uh, from them if we haven't created any. But basically he says what he does is he gives away uh he sells a course and he gives away a 3 to 6 month trial of the continuity offer, which once again is the same thing. It's in in his case, it's the click funnel software. Um, that way it gets people into the continuity. He still makes the money on the, on the offer, um, which it, if you're dealing in the digital product space is great because it's I mean, where there's really no cost of fulfillment, but it gets people into that continuity. And the hope here is that they'll get so much value out of whatever course they bought or whatever product they bought, or they'll get so much value out of their free trial of your continuity offer that they'll stick, right? They'll continue to pay you monthly after the fact, right? So that also, so that as you can see, so that also, as you can see here, has an arrow pointing to your level two continuity. So once again, you had your Mifki, which was your free gift or your super low cost thing that was five to $10 or five to a hundred dollars that got them. That's your level one that still gets people into the same continuity program. This after the dramatic demonstration is your level two, which is your product that's you know one hundred to one thousand um, dollars, and that basically still gets people into the continuity through your free trial. And then he moves over, and eventually you're going to send people into dramatic demonstration number two, which could be an event, a paid challenge, or where you're actually bringing people to a sales team. What's really interesting here is he actually sat there on the Funnel Hacking Live stage and said, guys, Funnel Hacking Live is my dramatic demonstration number two. It's all trying to get you into ClickFunnels, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I love how he, it's a different, uh, like, like how we say, you know, it's a different experience, you know. Now you have an event, you know. Russell, what this Funnel Hacking Live was a little different, right? Because he had everything set up, structure, amazing about the linchpin. But for example, last Final Hacking Life, it was all about getting people into like his, his inner circle, his coaching program, um, getting people to buy the funnel, uh, click funnels, getting people to purchase the next year Final Hacking Life event, you know? So that's his dramatic demonstration. And of course, there's an offer, right? There's a high ticket offer, which goes down to your membership subscription area for the level three. That's the level three offer that he has. And <clears throat> the good thing about events is that, you know, people pay for those events, right? Those events are not free. But when people go to those events, they basically know that they're going to get sold another um, offer, basically another ticket. It could be a coaching. It could be, you know, a different program that's going to help them get their results. It could even be another event, right? I, I think many people that go through a, an event and then they sell their own event at the end, right? So it's like, it depends what kind of, you know, uh, marketing convention you go to, I guess you can say. But yeah, there's always going to be an offer at the end of the event or some speakers might have an offer. But you know, something that I just thought about, most of the speakers had something for free to give, right? Yeah. You know, they they all had like a, some type of Mifki and that that's... That's basically, you know, there's 5,000 people in the room, right? A speaker might be great, right? Might be amazing. But it doesn't mean like all the 5,000 people are going to go and, you know, engage with that person and dive deep into who that person was. Because they do a, pr a presentation. It could be 40 minutes to an hour, an hour long presentation. But if, you know, if you don't really dry, get the attention of that person, then you're, you're just going to forget about that speaker. But most of them have like something free to give. And that's basically they're they're you're they're basically selling you something for free so you, they can come into your own world, you know. And that's yeah. something cool that I that I noticed. Well, and that's a good opportunity and a great way to highlight, you know, the importance of the value of the traffic. Right? There's five thousand people in that room. Pretty much all the speakers on stage. Those five thousand people are their ideal prospect or their target market. And obviously they want to capture as much as that as possible because it's it's like fish in a barrel at that point. Here's people who've already shown they have money because they're at the event, they're paying for the plane tickets, they're paying for the hotel stays. So they probably are 
have already have money sunk into their business. So they're willing to sink more into their business. They're obviously interested in marketing because they're at the event. So people will do whatever they can by giving away free stuff in order to capture that traffic. And that's the same thing you can think about when you're creating your content. You know, videos don't have to get a million followers or a million views to, to make a lot of money. Targeted traffic is really what you're after, right? And then anyways, let's talk about this high ticket offer that he makes at the end of his dramatic demonstration events or paid challenges. And basically this is your, this is your high ticket offer. Number two, it could be anywhere from a thousand to 10,000, $25,000 and up. And I know, did you end up going to the, uh, was there a lunch on Friday? Did you go to that or did you, did you skip out on that? No. Yeah, I went. Uh, so he, Russell had a lunch with all the two comma club winners, right? And then in, in the lunch, you know, of course, there was an offer, you know, there was an offer for people to join his inner circle. And the way he structured is is kind of cool. You know, it's really interesting because to get into his inner circle, not not just anybody uh, that has the money can join, right? You need to be a two comma club winner in order to be in his inner circle. So that's one of the requirements that he has. So that was a perfect opportunity to sell the inner circle in a room full of award winners. Right. So he sells his inner circle and he also, um, at you know, a couple points during the event, sells his coaching program, which is the Two Comma Club X. And I don't know, I think that's something like $2,500 a month is what you have to pay to be yeah. in that coaching program. I don't know. Okay, that's accurate. So the way he does that is he structures that as 10 payments. So basically, if you joined... Um, the two comma club X coaching, which is $2,500 a month. You basically pay for 10 months and you get two months free, right? That's the bonus. So you pay $25,000 at $2,500 a month times 10 months. You get the two months free. But what he also gives along with that is he gives 12 month trial to click funnels. So once again, it all comes back down to this continuity and subscription, right? So he's got three different levels of products that all are trying to get bit people into the continuity and subscription model, right? But why does he do this? Why does he sell these other offers? Is it so he can make a lot of money? Absolutely not. That's not the point. He sells these offers, these high ticket offers, the, the offer that comes with the bulk continuity, right? He sells that so he can take the $25,000 he gets from anyone who joins two comma club X. So he can get the two ninety seven for anyone who joins the mid ticket course that also comes with the three to six month trial of click funnels. He sells this stuff so he can take the money that comes from the high ticket offer. So he can, as he says, give that back to Zuckerberg. That's where his ad revenue comes from. All the inner circle stuff, all the, the two comma club X coaching money, right? That goes back into ads and that's how he drives more traffic and that's part of the attractive character front flywheel over here in the bottom right the paid ads right that's where you get the money for the ads so you can drive more people into your continuity which is what drives the value of the business yeah and it, that's something that i learned also for you know when i started promoting legendary something that dave sharp teaches is you want to utilize the money from your low ticket offer to sell the high ticket offer, right? So uh, all the low, all the low tickets that you you get, you want to kind of reinvest that into like pay ads or marketing materials, you know, whatever whatever way you want to do it. But here's the and point of the linchpin, Andre. Right? This is the exact opposite of that, right? Hmm. Because you're invest, you're taking all the money, and that's what the, that's what's so cool about the linchpin is that's the that's the the old way of doing it, as Russell would say, right? Your self liquidating offer. You run ads to a program that, you know, has a, a $9 product and a $17 product and a $27 product. And you take all that money and you pump that back into ads and then you sell your mm -hmm. high ticket stuff and that's 100% profit. But the reason that's the old way of doing that is because advertising is getting more expensive now, right? That's no true, longer yeah. can, it, you know, the, the CPMs on Facebook are up, TikTok's getting more expensive. YouTube's always been on the more expensive side. You get better traffic from there, which why is why it's okay. But you know, advertising is getting more expensive. So that low ticket self-liquidating offer stuff doesn't really work anymore. But what he has is still a self-liquidating offer. And that self-liquidating offer is the high ticket stuff. So he's taken all that stuff that we've learned from years and years and years uh, of studying marketing, and he's flipped it on its ear, so to speak, 
by taking the high ticket stuff, that's where they add. And that's the big distinction. So I'm glad you brought it up, Andre. That's the big distinction in the change you you see here. And when Dan Henry yeah. saw this, who a lot of people know what Dan Henry said, who Dan Henry is, when he saw this, his reaction was like, oh my God, you're doing everything backwards or the opposite. And that's exactly right. And that is how you can succeed in the game today is focus on taking these high ticket offers and that's your self-liquidating offer. Yep. And also, you know, when you do paid ads, you know, just how you said Zuckerberg could just be like, like Thanos, right? Flip, flip his fingers and then your account is gone, right? So a lot of people rely on just paid ads and accounts uh, for Facebook, right? Facebook ads, the, the marketplace. Um, and you also have lost um, ads accounts, correct? I have. I have lost a couple of ad accounts on Facebook and uh, now I'm overplaying in the TikTok space. But since we're talking about TikTok ads and ads, let me give you some numbers just to highlight the point about the self-liquidating offer, because that's the secret soft sauce if you want to scale with a linchpin. So I don't want to I don't want to let this go. My low ticket offer, right, is nine dollar funnel. It's a series, it's a set of funnels, but that's $9 that I offer people as a one-time offer upgrade after they jump into my dramatic demonstration, which is my free course. And then there's also an order bump on there, which is uh, $37. And that is for what I call viral traffic 101. Basically, how do you create short form content using the hook story offer framework? Um, after that, they get a one-time offer if they buy to join my coaching program for $97 a month. And once again, that's my continuity or subscription that I'm trying to sell, right? The monthly payment into my coaching program. But if I were just to rely on that $9 and that $37 order to pay for my ads, I'd be in trouble because if let's say everybody took that Andre, so let's say everybody who took the $9, not everybody who jumped in my funnel, but let's say everybody who took the $9 also took the $37. That's $46 that I'm making. Well, I right now am paying $65 to acquire a customer, right? So that costs me $65 in ad spend for every person who buys the $9 product at the very least. So obviously if that was my business model, I'd be running out of ad money very quickly because at the very most I'm making $46 and that's just simply not going to cover a $65 cost per acquisition, right? That if you do the math, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm like 15 bucks in the hole every time I, I attract a customer. So that would not last. But luckily, all that stuff makes me money because I have my high ticket offers in the back end, which in, in my case, bulk uh, or offer number one is my course for $9.97, which comes with free um coaching which once again is my continuity program this pays for the ads but i also now am working on dramatic demonstration number two to sell another offer which will then pay for my ads so that's why i can afford to spend 65 dollars to acquire a nine dollar customer is because all that mm -hmm. stuff on the front end actually becomes my profit or my my income my revenue that that goes to the bank and all the high ticket stuff that i'm selling on the back end is what actually pays for my ads Super cool, super cool. So there you guys have it. You know, this is the linchpin framework that Russell is implementing in his business. And also he did say, you know, he's doing this from the from scratch, right? Remember, or I don't know if you were there, but he's doing this from scratch where he was, he's building a, a new program with, uh, uh, what was it, with um, Napoleon Hill, which he, he basically got the rights to, uh, promote his books and basically republish his books. And then Napoleon Hills, uh, he also has many books that he has not published. They're not out there for the public. So now he's focusing on stretching, on um, starting all of this from scratch and creating a new business from scratch, utilizing the linchpin. And then he says it's on his way to a hundred million or something like that for that for that company. Something like yeah, that, I think he wants to do a hundred million dollars in annual recurring revenue and he wants to do it like within a year or two or something silly, like super fast. <clears throat> yeah. And you have to have respect for Russell Branson, right? He's in there in the trenches. You know, he's yeah. doing everything that he's telling you to do. You know, it's not like he's not a bad, a bad boss where he's like, 
do things as I say, not as I do. You know, he's doing the things uh, correctly and teaching you what he's implementing. And that's what I respect Russell and he's the marketing genius. You know, everybody loves him. Yeah, he, he and that's it because he's not just learning something and teaching. He learns it and he does it and he makes sure it's repeatable. And then once he does that, he makes sure he understands it. And once he understands it, then he goes around and turns around and says, guys, this is the formula. This is the secret sauce. So that, that's kind of the last thought that I want to share with everyone is, is how is he going to scale a business to $100 million in annual recurring revenue lightning fast a year or two? And why is he so confident that he can do it? Well, of course, he's got the linchpin framework. But what does the linchpin framework give you? It gives you, and, and, and this is a Dan Kennedy quote, whoever can spend the most money to acquire a customer wins. What's this new? What's the linchpin framework going to allow him to do with this new business? It's going to allow him to have those, those offers, those high ticket offers on the back end that he can pump back into ads. And he's going to be able to spend more money than everybody else on ads. And that's why he's so confident that he can scale to $100 million in annual recurring revenue so quickly. I think you have to do like a like a mic drop right now. So we can just finish this episode because, I mean, you know, how much did all this information is worth more than $1,000, honestly. I mean, it's definitely worth at least the thousand dollars I paid to get in that room, the thousand dollars I paid for the hotel stay for three nights, the five hundred dollars I paid for the plane ticket, the sixty dollars I paid for parking. So it's at least worth, I don't know, do the math, twenty eight hundred bucks or twenty five hundred bucks. Um, but yeah, I know we went through it quickly, but but I, and I would drop my mic if it wasn't a three hundred dollar mic. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, but I mean, I think that's it. Yeah, I might go through and rewatch this episode, to be honest with you, just because it it's it's the first time we've taught the linchpin and mm-hmm. there's obviously some parts where we're not as good as teaching it as Russell, but I feel like I have got a better understanding of it after teaching it for the first time. So even if no one listened to this episode, I think it was extremely valuable for me. It was for me as well. I mean, we, we, we literally did not talk about this. <laughs> you get me yesterday. We're like, okay, tomorrow we're just going to do a training about the linchpin. And then we showed up today. We're like, hey, you ready to hear record? Yeah, let's do it. And then we're teaching it. And it was a great training. I mean, you can put this on your own course, uh, Brian, as a as a module, you know, because it's valuable. And that's a cool thing about it. You know, we're doing this for you guys. We're not getting money out of you, you know, with this podcast. We're just basically sharing information, which hopefully you guys find valuable. Well, absolutely. I, I can't say it any better myself. Um I think that's it, man. Thanks to everybody who uh, tuned in with us today and watched us on YouTube, more importantly, probably for this episode. We thank you. We hope you get a lot of value out of this. If you have any questions about the linchpin, especially if you're watching this on YouTube, drop them in the comments because what we want to know is we want to help you out, obviously. But the other thing that will be helpful for us is if there's something that's a little unclear, uh, maybe we need to cover a little bit further or that you're really interested in, like, I don't quite understand that piece. Drop them down in the comments because that's something maybe we can uh, you know, attack in a, in a future episode of the Evolved Marketing Podcast, which hopefully you'll listen to because we're coming up on a year and we have some cool stuff planned for uh, what we're going to call season two in just a couple of weeks when we start uh, the next year of this podcast. Yeah, we're doing one season a year. So 52 episodes every single year, um, once a week. And we're excited. I mean, we're doing this for almost a year and we're super pumped that we got this far, honestly. And yeah, you know, thank you guys for listening. Like how Brian said, you know, leave us a comment. Um, Instagram on YouTube for the most part is like the one of the platforms that you guys should be watching. And yeah, uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode of Evolve Marketing Podcast. Bye, everybody. <laughs>